I'm Tessa Smith with Mama's Geeky. Thank you so much, Jeff, for taking the time today. Of course. Thanks oh for Oh my gosh. Here. Listen, this movie is phenomenal. Like, I was having the most fun watching it. What, the soundtrack? Can you talk about just building this soundtrack, first of all? It, it was it was like a labor of love. There's not there's not like a song in the movie that I don't uh, 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 just like uh, unabashedly adore, and to to be able to like uh, take so many things that I love and put them in here and have them make sense in the movie was uh, was was really exciting. And it's just there's something about the the New York of the movie and the 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 when you're a teen and you're listening to hip hop and the the rebellious nature of of the music that it it, it just seemed to really work for it. Yeah, well, and leaning into the teenage of Teenage Mutant Turtles like that was perfect and brilliant. Can you talk about, you know, bringing on a real teenage cast for this? That was that was like one of the earliest decisions made and that that was kind of like uh Seth's uh Seth Rogan's like flag in the ground at the beginning like we got to have real teens play the Ninja Turtles that's never been done that's like the most interesting part of these characters uh and it it, it was it was exciting we're like oh okay well how do we find four teenagers that feel and act like authentic and we did a huge casting search and the and the four kids that we landed on are so perfectly their turtles and uh, and then and so perfect in those roles. Yeah, and then having them record together. Yes. Another like absolute brilliant move because I feel like you can feel it in the movie. And yeah. so can you talk about that decision? Yeah, no, I mean it's it's like it it, it made it it made them come alive. It made them uh, 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 it just made things more kinetic and electric, and it made them feel more realistic and, and that was the number one thing that we were chasing uh, uh is just authenticity in uh uh in the characters and it's I'm, I'm a big fan of the naturalism in in film and we're like oh cool we could do like a robert altman thing where everyone's just like talking it all the time and it's hard to hard <laughs> hard to hear it sometimes but it, it it felt it gave the it gave the movie such a grounding um yeah. absolutely and then also like it's so unique looking too. I mean, you guys do so much with this movie to make it feel like something I've never seen before. Yet at the same time, like I feel like these are my turtles, if that makes sense. So can you talk about just combining, you know, unique yeah. and what we're used to? There, there's things that, that we did where we're like, okay, uh, 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 the, the Ninja Turtles, we're, we're designing them. Like I think the tendency in like the past decade or so when you when you reinvent characters is to like, cover them in gear and like black tactical equipment and uh uh and we're like that's not what i love about the ninja turtles like when i was a kid they had same color like armbands and and headbands uh so we took these elements from the classic designs and then put them on these characters that the the biggest mission was to uh, make them uh, look authentically teenage. They're kind of lanky. They're awkward in their bodies. They don't know how to carry themselves. They're still growing uh, and just grounding it in that realism. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. And um, we need a sequel. Like, I know this one's not even out yet, but if you could give a sequel, that would be great. <laughs> I think people are working on it. I think. Uh, okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much for your time. Bye.